Welcome everyone to another review, and it's been a while, I understand, once again, I feel like I'm saying that every single review, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do these reviews because I enjoy doing them, and when I can get reviews out, I get them out, and I know you guys really enjoy them too, which is why I've been saying this whole past week, pretty much, I gotta get a review out for these guys, and, well, I figured I had some little bit of time here, I'll go ahead and do an Android review, considering those only take about 10 minutes to do. Alright, um... So, let's see, what do I want to talk about right now? Let's start out. Um, yeah, school starting T minus two days. Just want to bring that up to you guys. Meaning that these videos might be a little bit few and far between when it comes to uploading them. Just because I'm going to be really busy with school. And um, even though I will enjoy making videos a lot when, um, when I'm probably being really stressed off by homework. And I'll probably end up making a video when that happens. And that probably will happen quite a bit when doing homework. So, without further ado here, let's start getting in the review. The reason you guys are watching this, not to listen to me babble. We're going to be testing out. See if you can figure it out here. Well, by the title, probably figured it out already. But we're going to be testing out malware bytes. Anti-malware. And we're going to see how well that can do against some actual malware. Um, maybe. Your device is not compatible with this version. Oh, well, um, that's quite interesting. Okay, all right, so we're not gonna be testing out Malwarebytes today. Um, let me take a look and see what is on our list here quick. On uh, next thing to test, that's um, quite disappointing. So, video requests, here we are, and let's take a look at what you guys wanna see next. Okay, downloading, there we go. Sophos Mobile Security. Let's see if that is compatible with my uh, device here. Oh, if I can spell it right here, that might actually help. There's a there's a there's a um a P in there. Yep. All right, let's see if this is it. There we are. So we're gonna try out Sophos Mobile Security. Skip. Accept. Now I go blindly accepting the license agreement again. Yeah, that's um. But I told you guys not to do, and here I am doing it. But we all do it, right? You know. But that's why we run into malware application on our phones to help us out when it comes to uh, doing that. So, all right. Um, now I'm, I could probably try and install the APK file directly of Malwarebytes, and I probably will try that later on. But as of right now, we're just going to move on here to um, to Sophos. So let's go ahead and back out of the store here, and let's move the security icon over to the other screen come on come on there really oh I'm grabbing the I see what's going on there okay there we go now that I've struggled more than I need to on that let's open it up and see what we get all right so our user agreement right here allows sending anonymous usage data yeah sure whatever okay um very nice interface uh, I understand this is not really the screen orientation you normally would see like on a cell phone or something like that, a smartphone I should say, but we're gonna view it kind of as a tablet here. And I do like it, it's very simple, it gets the point across. Uh, let's click on scanner here and see what we got. Okay, so we got malware scanner, uh, threats and potential unwanted applications, details, clean apps, so we can start scan obviously, uh, clicking up here will go back, loss and theft, Okay, this device has no telephone function. Okay, so that will not work, but and essentially, if you were to have a cellular function, you can use this uh, to, let me go back to it and actually read what it can do here. Uh, lock screen, okay, so you can remotely lock the screen. Device administrator features, okay, uh, da, 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 location services, so you can see where your phone is. Secure wipe, so you obviously can log into a computer and wipe the data off your phone if for some reason you think that it got compromised or somebody has stolen it and is after your data, you can remotely wipe it without them gaining access to it. So that's really nice to see. Uh, they got alarms, so you can sound like a siren, the phone will make an obnoxious loud noise. Uh, Locate on low battery. Okay, interesting. All right, so they uh, do offer some loss and theft protection right there. Spam protection, we're not gonna really do that. Uh, no telephone service, see we can't do that. Web filtering is activated. If we click that, all right, so um, malicious content, we get worn, filter categorized websites, adult, alcohol. okay, that's really nice. So you can actually go through and almost like, this looks a lot like OpenDNS. Um, you can actually 
categorize different sections of the web in a sense and allow them or block them. So that's actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I'll maybe have to play with that a little bit later. Uh, Security Advisor, one insecure system setting, uh, screen lock. Uh, secure by a pin. Oh, we don't have any pin sets. So that's why it's saying, okay. Um, USB debugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is not really a true version of Android, or not really a, I should say, not really a true Android device. I'm running this on a virtual machine, as you guys know, so, yeah. Privacy Advisor. Okay, so it kind of gives you a breakdown of uh, all the apps and what they're going to access in your phone and what that means to you. So that's kind of nice to kind of break that down for you and explain it a little better than let's say the actual license agreement does when you download the app. All right, so um, I suppose that's running. Um, let me go back into it here and see what we got for some settings. Uh, cloud scan mode, and we'll say all, actually, no, I wanna, I wanna leave everything default. So we're just gonna leave it, um, well, not roaming. Okay, um, targets, system apps, Additional all scan, okay, additional scan all system apps. So it looks like it's only going to target some. That's interesting. Uh, scan SD card USB, that's good. Uh, detect potential on applications, yep. App reputation, detect low reputation apps, and notify. Um, that's kind of nice actually, but we aren't going to check it because I do want to test it on default. Uh, let's see, universe, last update, checking for data update. Okay, so that's a good sign. I don't know if it found anything or not, but we're gonna check for updates and hopefully it will update within the test time period. Uh, they do have an uninstall app also within the settings menu. Um, not seeing any like display settings or anything like that. Unless I missed it, I could have missed it, but I'm not really seeing anything like that. And I was trying to make sure, I was trying to see if we can get an icon to show up here that would alert me, because it just says it was installed, but that's not the actual running icon, kind of like a VAS does, um, where it gives you a status icon up there. Okay, well, enough of that. So that's essentially the interface. Let's get down to the testing, because we were seven minutes in this video. All right, so let's go to our folder here of malware, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna extract it. And we're gonna type in our super secret password and we're gonna actually have to click okay. All right, so we're currently extracting the malware. Um, looks like nothing from Sophos yet. And I didn't look to see how many pieces of malware were actually in that folder before we did that. Um, let me see if I can, well, actually, I forgot we did this last time to figure out how much, okay, 28 objects we're starting out with here. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to quick see if we can run a scan here with Sophos and see if it'll find any of these apps that are on here, anything that is a threat possibly, and give it a chance to remove it. And you can already see it's hard at work. Um, that's pretty nice to see. Okay, scan files. We have six detections so far. And keep in mind, we have 28 actual malicious apps on here. So, so far it's doing pretty good, I'd have to say. Now this is older, these are older um, apps too. So we'll, we'll see how well this um, can hold up. But they're all, they all are malicious, so. Some are worse than others though. All right, so it uh, looks like it found some apps here, potentially threats. Um, it doesn't really give me, oh, here we go, delete. So I guess we can delete these. Delete, delete. Delete. And I gotta go through here now and delete all these. I don't think there's any way I can select all of them. No, I'm gonna have to unfortunately sit here and delete them all. But obviously normally you would not have this many in the way of malicious apps on your device. So, um, clean apps, okay. Yeah, so it looks like these have been listed as clean, but we can also uninstall them and view some of the settings right here. So it gives you kind of a breakdown of what the app's done. I really like this interface. I really do. Um, nicely set up. Okay, so let's go back now and see what we have left. All right. So it looks as if we have nine apps remaining. All right, so let's go out here, break out our calculator, and see if we can do this. Yes, we can. 
So we're gonna go 28 minus nine and then divided by 28, which gives us a detection rate of 67%. Um, keep in mind last time, I think we had like in the 20s or something like that, it was it was pretty bad. So this is, a, this is actually not that bad um, for an Android device because Android seems to have a little bit of an issue um, with finding malware. So that's good to see that um, 67% that's that's probably about average I'd have to say for for an Android device if not above average actually I'm probably gonna say more above average judging by um, what I've seen in the past so above average but close to it when it comes to Android that is Windows this would be a very horrible result um, so alright now that we've done that let's try and install some of these apps here and see if they can run on this device so we got Sophos ready to install or ready um working in here and so working up that one did not work uh let's get a uh, block installation okay so now we have to go in here that's right we have to un disable unknown sources here okay now normally you would want to keep that checked but now in this case we're trying to test out Sophos and see if it can protect us from things like this okay um has it been identified as a threat all right that's really cool so we're going to go ahead and delete that now it's saying app has been installed, but we're going to go ahead and delete it again. Okay. Um, so that one looks like it was blocked. Interesting. And actually, yeah, so it deleted two of them, it looks like, maybe. Now, did it actually delete the main? Do you want to install the existing application? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, sure, whatever. Don't know what you're doing, but. I'll accept it. Okay, so it looks like Sofo scanned it actually. Um, it looks like that app has been installed. Okay, let's try this one right here. We'll install it. Android Lollipop theme. Interesting. That one's not working. Yeah, I know some of these weren't working. Okay, and now it looks like up here we do have Sophos uh, with some results, and we'll check that in just a minute here. Let me just finish with the last app. Okay, done. All right, let's see what Sophos is telling us right here. No threats found. Okay, so it's literally uh, saying that no threats were found. Three threats. Um, okay, can we delete this? Malicious object, uh, simple threat. To, okay, it doesn't say it's been removed. Let's go further details. Oh, it's going to bring us to the website. Okay. Yeah, and there's no way to actually remove it, it looks like. It's just notifying me. But maybe if we do another scan, it'll actually remove it. So let's go ahead and let's go do another scan here. Let's back all the way out of there. And let's do one more scan to see if Sophos, and give it another chance to find some of these threats on here. Now that they're kind of active on the system, um, it can find something else and see. Maybe. I have confidence in you, Sophos. You've done really good so far. All right, so it looks like it hasn't found anything, unfortunately. It's kind of, um, yeah, I have to say it's unfortunate. Uh, let's go look in our apps here and see what we got. So we have Popstar installed. Uh, let's see what that uh, main activity is installed. And then we got that app right there, which I cannot read. And that is installed. So bottom line um, for Sophos here, it, it didn't do in my mind that bad. Um, you can see we do have some apps on this system that are malicious. Um, but as I stated last time, the only thing you need to really do to remove these um, is literally click and hold and uninstall. And then you want to uninstall apps, and there we go, it's gone. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world to have to uninstall it, but sometimes there are screen lockers out there that prevent you from even doing that. Uh, they're getting smarter. Mal malware writers are getting a lot smarter at, um, oh, we have the Android Lollipop too. I'm oh, sorry, I must, almost missed that one up there. Um, so, yeah, we have, uh, looks like a total of them with three of them that got through. Um, if I remember correctly, because so we have that one, the one we just deleted, and then that one right there. Oh, four, never mind. Yeah, so four apps that got through. Um, rest of them didn't install, but we had a 67% de 
detection ratio, and keep in mind, so far I have not seen any behavior when I tested one program, but so far, Sophos is the only one to actually detect that one um, malicious app during the installation. And that was really good to see, um, that they're actually on their game in the sense of they're analyzing apps as they're being installed and trying to figure out if they're possibly malicious or not. So um, that's going to be it for this video. Video I know it was a little bit longer than it probably should have been, but yeah, it's an Android review. Hopefully you guys like it. I know there's not a lot of people who do these online. So um, yeah, um, that's going to be it. Bottom line in Sophos, if you want to run Sophos, I'd say go for it. Um, this, this so far did a really, really good job. Uh, I'd have to say I'd have to recommend Sophos if people want to run that. So. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully I'll have some time later this weekend. I know it's Saturday night right now, um, but hopefully I'll have some time to get another uh, Windows antivirus reviewed or anti-malware solution reviewed and see how well that performs. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I know I've wanted someone to test, um, someone wanted me to test McAfee, and I really do want to test McAfee, but I kind of wanted to wait for a user uh, to be around and in order to test that one. So we'll see if um, if that works out. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll go, I'll go ahead and upload this and um, talk to you guys later.